All right, so it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, the last one I did was kind of showing off some benefits of uh, light probes and then showing off some of the different renderers inside Lightweight. Uh, this time I wanted to show off um, a new feature inside Lightweight 2015 that's important sampling. So in this new, uh, the newest version of Lightweight 2015, they have a new feature called just called important sampling. We talked about it with Octane, um, but at the time, Lightwave didn't have it. So let me just show you uh, how, what this does and how awesome it is. And I'll also show you it on uh, the five uh, free light probes that I'm currently giving away on, uh, on my website. So this is the setting. It's essentially just this, important sampling on or off. Now before, when you had a, a light probe like this one that has um, a really hot sun in it, uh, it casts rays out equally in all directions, and um, you can see you just start getting this firefly, really hot stuff speckles around. Um, and eventually that would refine into the defined shadows because enough rays would see the sun out there. Uh, but it will just take a long time. So now with this, it's literally just a button. And what it does is that we have these um, part sampling background samples, and that's that has that many samples to determine where the important things um, in the scene are, so where to concentrate uh, rays. Um, honestly, I've played with different settings here. Just leave it at default. The default works remarkably well, and even at high res light probes with a ton of different lights, uh, this this picks it up really, really well. Um, and that's, that's the setting. It's very, very simple and very straightforward, and you can see from something that was not very usable to something that's essentially, look how interactive that is. This is a pure CPU based renderer. It's Lightwave's VPR interactive renderer. And uh, that is very, very respectable results there. Um, now I'm even doing two bounces here. So it's bouncing around inside here. You can see it's bouncing, the bright sun's hitting down in here and bouncing and filling up underneath the brim of the hat there or the helmet. Um, so it's doing quite a bit and super sharp defined shadows from that point in the light probe and uh, works very well. So that's one of the light probes and that's the new feature, important sampling. Let me just show you a couple other ones. Um, this one's kind of nice. It's in my backyard. It also has a very bright sun in it up over there. Uh, but the other nice thing that this one has is behind it's got the fence here and it's got a fence over here. And so you can see, well, just look how natural that feels there. Our shadows and our, our, uh, uh, our model just works really well with this lighting setup. Uh, it's nice because you have this very sharp, defined light source, but then you get this really nice, soft bounce um, from the side here. It gets some nice shaping of, and it's, it's not just, you get some of the color bleed into it too, so it's kind of this, bluer sky sun, and then this warm tinted bounce, which is really nice. Um, and again, just look how quick that, how quick that cleans up. Um, this is one of the other free ones. It's an old cathedral. Um, and it's kind of neat because it has, you can see in the reflection on these glass balls, there's a lot of lights up there. And so for, um, for an important sampling system, you know, that's kind of tricky to find all those lights, but you can see it, it's doing all these uh, very subtle soft shadows because there's just so many low intensity lights. Um, but you can see how well that cleans up and how nice and defined those shadows are with the important sampling. Um, let's show you this bar, it's a similar setup. I really like this one, it was uh, after hours at a, um, at a bar and uh, it's got a lot of you know, it's got some hot lights, one of which is right there above it, um, and some others. And then it's got this really nice diffused um, floor light. So you get these sharp shadows, um, and some of the, uh, the uh, red colors from, or I guess it's kind of this purpley mess up in here. Um, and then over here, you get this really nice, um, feel from the floor light. Um, but I'm just, I thought this was a really interesting lighting scenario. Um, 
and you can just see how well we go up here, how well that cleans up. You can start seeing these sharp defined shadows very quickly. All right, the last one is this hotel window. Um, this one's really interesting just because it was uh, really bright outside as the sun was going down and I just turned all the lights off inside the hotel. Um, but that gets a really nice feel of very bright on this side, very contrasty, but not sharp contrast, a very diffused uh, high contrast lighting setup. Uh, and again, just look how, look how nice that cleans up and how fast that cleans up. Um, so that's uh, a great new feature of Lightwave 2015, and uh, that's showing off some of the uh, new five free light probes on uh, my website, Illuminated Tools. Uh, thanks, and I hope that has been helpful.